Hey guys, what's happening? This is a weird video because I was just sitting here. I was working, trying to finish up my Cadillac. And just, uh, I watched Lucas C. He had a video about he lost a bunch of his uh, computer equipment, had major malfunctions. And he um, lost like a bunch of pictures and it's like just a terrible uh, loss of, of uh, a bunch of memory, uh, memory like computer memory uh, stuff off of a hard drive. And you know, it just like I was just sitting here twiddling my thumbs kind of watching. Um, I was I was actually just sitting here doing nothing to be honest with you and I was going back through the Acme Southern Nationals videos from last year and watching uh, I was watching Lucas C's and Mark Betts and I was over on his just kind of bouncing around seeing the different perspectives of the uh, of the shows and I just thought like compelled to like turn the camera on and just talk for a few minutes um this is like the part that so so there's I guess what I'm trying to say is when you become a YouTuber you try to only show that part of the bench that that you work at it you know you don't like show the whole thing I mean literally this place is a dump I have stuff scattered everywhere I don't ever want to lose that I'm a real person I'm a YouTube I, instead of, of a real person I'm just a YouTuber thing and it's like I was literally just sitting here watching YouTube and kind of reminiscing on some like uh, memories and I guess the reason that that came to mind is because Lucas C has lost so much now I hope he can recover it I don't know how that works but lost memory from his computer um, coffee I've had some dental work this has been very rough this week has been absolutely terrible had some uh, did oral surgery that uh, at, when you get to being over 40 it becomes a major issue the dentist or the oral surgeon said are you sure you want to do this it's going to be rough and I'm like oh sure yeah she was right but anyway so I swallowed a little slower and uh, and I'm in pain but anyway I'll find myself um, looking at my phone and why I always I'll fall back to Lucas C. Reason I do that is because he's the guy who, when I got back into the hobby, um, I was watching his stuff. He was the guy who, and he hadn't been in YouTube that long. Uh, when I started watching him, it was pretty fresh. It was pretty right out of the box with him. So I will find myself going back to five years ago to his original videos and re-watching them because it takes me back to when I started. Not when I started YouTube, but when I started getting back into building model cars. And I don't ever want to lose that. I don't want to lose that feeling of... Do you have... So, are there ever any... Okay, let's, let's just use this for an example. Thanksgiving. This you have. I have things that set off memories in my mind. I can remember around Thanksgiving. Now I don't know. I was a kid. Maybe I've got the the, the uh, holidays wrong. But maybe Christmas or something. But I can remember my dad watching football, and it seemed like it was somewhere around Thanksgiving. Um, I don't know. There's these trigger memory triggers that when you see something or it's a time of the time of the year or something like that. It triggers memories that feel good. Those memories are um, those warm, fuzzy moments in your life. Could be a song or something that you can remember as a kid listening to with your grandfather or something like that. That's that's what I want to continue to keep going with. Is when I see a video from some guy that lives out in Phoenix, Arizona, named Matt. AKA Lucas C. 
and I see the videos that I watched when I was getting into the hobby, and I'm in my 40s, right? I'm already in my 40s when I'm getting into it, but it still takes you back. I don't ever want to lose that. I don't ever want to be the YouTube guy who's just focused on always being the... You don't ever see the personal side of them. This, I'd rather you see the personal side of me. The personal side of me is who I am. Uh, the, the bench is not me. The, this is me, the personal side of me. So, I always want you guys to know that, um, although my channel's grown, like, I'm so thrilled that I'm, uh, I'm right at 11,000 subscribers at this moment, and it feels so great to know that I have that much support from such a large community that I don't, still don't want to be, um, I don't want to lose that personal side of it. I want to come out here and still have fun. Um, every time I sit down at the bench, and I think this becomes a, can become a problem with me. It uh, has become a problem, I guess not, not is. And, and I, I, I thought it was good, but every time now that I sit down at the bench, I, um, I think that I want to build this better than the last one. That's a good quality for, um, for, for, you know, your model building is to do better than on the next one, better, better, better. But when it becomes rather the goal is not fun, but quality, then, uh, I think I've, I think I've, I think I've lost what this whole thing is about. Um, Don over at Don's Garage, um, which is he's relatively new into the into the YouTube, and and he's not the only one that has said this. But in the closing of his videos, he always takes his fingers and he points back at the camera, like he says, "Build the model for you." And uh, it's supposed to be something that we have fun with. This car, this Cadillac right here. So as you, in, in this, obviously the Cadillac video has been out already. It's not completely finished right here, but it, you've already seen the video probably. But um, You get rolling with a, with a model kit and a sip of coffee. You get rolling with a model kit and it's like doing, it's like excellent. Then you get near the end of it. And, and with the expectations that I've had, that I try to have or have, you know, maybe I need to take a step back, but like this is going to be a show winner. It's going to be a show winner. It's going to be a show winner. And then you get to something like the glass that gave me such a problem or the window frame. And you're like, the whole darn car is ruined. Not ruined because there's nothing wrong with it. It just doesn't look as good as I wish it had. The whole car is ruined because of the windshield. Darn it. And you're frustrated. Rather than just saying, you know what? I finished it put it on the shelf and start something new and fresh and, and like, yeah. So, um, you guys are what motivates me and drive me to do it, but I don't want to be driven off of a cliff. You know what I mean? To where it becomes uh, monotonous, uh, a job. It's not a job. It's, it's absolutely not a job. I, I love it. I wouldn't come out here and do it if I didn't love it. But I don't want it to drive me to try to be a perfectionist because I'm not a perfectionist. That's the problem with the whole concept of wanting each one to rise, rise, rise. <clears throat> I'm not a perfectionist. I will let, oh boy, where you can't see, that's good that you can't see there because I might have a piece of styrene stuffed in there, super glued to hold something straight. Um, I'm not a perfectionist. I know people that are perfectionist. Now he may not say he is, but like Mark Batson, but that fits his personality. That's how it's going to be done. It's going to be done perfect. It looks perfect, at least. Maybe he says he's not. And he would probably say he's not perfect at all, at least in the model building. But it, it, it's, it's. I, I, I don't have that personality. I don't need to try to build like that. I need to try and build for me, like Don says. Um, and I don't know why when Lucasy why this spurred this thought in my head that just you need to slow down and it was all because of me seeing his Lucy's video and and i sent him a text earlier um 
and he lost like 20 years worth of stuff. It has nothing to do with the thoughts that are in my head. It just got a thought rolling in my head that I can't let everything, I can't let all of my, um, how would I say this? I'm trying, I've got thoughts in my head that are hard to convey in words. I can't let my happiness for this hobby be contained all on a piece. And, and I told Lucas, see, it's like, that's the problem with silicone. We, you know, it fails. I can't let my happiness be contained in a, in a, in a computer chip that we don't even, I don't even know how a computer chip works and it could fail at any moment. And this, I'm, and I'm not in any way, this is no, uh, uh, nothing against Lucas C. It's just, it just got a, a, a moment in my head going that it's like, I want to slow down. I want to enjoy this and I want to build what I want to build and I want to, you guys to see it but I don't know sorry this is a weird video but it's like I was sitting here just kind of, my feet are kicked up on a chair in front of me and I was just looking at videos and reminiscing and thinking you know it's okay sometimes to just talk it's not always that you have to have the focus is on a piece of uh, a, a, a piece of plastic I, that sounds so disrespectful to the hobby a, a plastic model kit it doesn't always have to be the focus. The focus can be this, all this focus that in this video here, these thoughts are kind of centered toward the model, model hobby, but it's in a little different fashion. And uh, like Don says, have fun, build it for you and uh, keep that interest in the right perspective um, and, and, and don't, I don't want, I don't want to get outside of my my wheelhouse so to speak as far as my comfort zone I am not a person that has the tap yeah you do Matthew no I don't I'll go ahead and be honest with you I don't cameras can hide a lot of flaws if you guys go to Acme I'm gonna have a couple of my cars I'll bring a couple you'll see that they those things are far from perfect that I can make them look a lot better on a camera um, you can hide things on a camera. You just don't turn it to that side. If there's a bathroom, you just don't turn it to that side. So I don't want to, um, I don't want to try to over it over. Uh, I don't want to make me, you think that I am more than what I am. I am an average model builder at best. And, uh, but thank you for your support, even though, um, even, even though that I'm not, and, uh, I have improved and I continue to want to improve, but I don't want to get to the place where it's like, I can't be, I'm, I'm dissatisfied if the windshield doesn't turn out right. No, it's, it can't be that way. All right, guys, thanks for listening to me just absolutely ramble about, some of you probably were going, what's he talking about? Um, maybe that's how this comes across, I don't know. I hope I was able to convey some sort of meaningful thought uh, in, in, in this in this quick rant video not rant um, I wasn't ranting at all this was just rambling uh, aimlessly sometimes and that's how my mind works um, I'm sometimes aimlessly if you aim at nothing you'll hit it every time or miss it every time I don't even know if you aim at nothing yeah you'll hit he'll, you'll hit nothing every time that's how it goes I don't want to hit nothing I want to I want to I want to do well in what I do but um, yeah I'm done so weird maybe but uh, you guys uh, don't forget to subscribe if you hadn't already and all those things that I say thanks to you guys for supporting me um, yeah take care and keep it real alright keep it fun see ya bye